see someone talked about today someone called me about uh nonprofits and, and here's my problem i think that the veteran nonprofit world is saturated and so the idea of if we have a million nonprofits out there veteran nonprofits out there to help veteran suicide right and they all have five dollars they're not helping anyone but then if you have two or three that have millions of people who give them five dollars well then they probably have several millions that they could work with now you could probably use that money towards helping veterans but then the question goes like what is it how do you help a veteran like how do you help veteran suicide right like fuck the awareness got it like how do you help veteran suicide or or what is the issue post-traumatic stress tbi what is the issue so here's the reality of it if you haven't got, if you have ptsd if you have traumatic brain injury, you need to go to counseling and you need to go to a brain clinic, okay? So the counseling can actually remove some of those bad thoughts, right? They have a thing called um, rapid eye movement treatment, and that no shit remove the, 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 the traumatic event that is stuck in your forebrain that you cannot process as a memory, and they'll get rid of that, right? They'll help get rid of that, right? And then from there, they help you adjust in other things. And then if you have traumatic brain injury, there's clinics out there that can help you repair your brain. So that's two things that most veterans that say, oh, I have PTSD and oh, I have fucking TBI. Like, they don't do. And if you haven't done that, then fucking you've won. You're not helping yourself. If you can't afford it, well, then there's veteran organizations out there that can try and help. Maybe that's where we focus our money towards, right? But then besides that, then you have all these nonprofits that are like, I have one that, that like, so we carve wood. And, and carving wood, uh, veterans, they find their, they, they helps with their PTSD. And the other one's like, oh, well, the, this one over here, we paint. And it helps with fucking veterans' PTSD. It's so, like, here's the reality of it, dude. Like, everyone's fucking different, right? Everyone is fucking different, right? And so we're going to find a way that, like me, I like fitness, right? I don't do it as much as I should. But fitness does help me in my traumatic situations, right? Or, or, or deal with... I guess get lost on my, in myself so that I'm fucking happy, right? It gives me what I need to kind of escape from reality for a while and, and just be me, right? And that's what everyone has. So, so, so one company that does fucking wood, one company that does painting, one company that does fitness, like none of those companies are fucking helping the, the masses of veterans. There's just an outlet. So the reality is if one of these small companies can reach out to one of the bigger companies like, hey, if you pay me $1,000, I can get a veteran in here and I can teach you get them a class. Maybe instead of a painting one, instead of you start, just partner up with one that you like that makes more money and that's able to help you. Because the bigger organizations need to find a way to use their money, right? They need to find a way to write a grant. So if you can partner up with a fucking bigger one who writes a grant to you so you can teach veterans, boom. Now we're not oversaturating the space of veteran nonprofits as well as GoFundMes. Because you realize we're asking for the people with the least amount of money for the most amount of money. We're asking veterans who make from 30 to 40 to 50,000 a year to go fund me to help veteran suicide. And you know what? We're all fucking bleeding hearts for the subject, right? We all want to help a fucking veteran somehow. We all want to stop veteran suicide. So we do everything we can. We donate everything we can to these nonprofits. And like I said, a million nonprofits is $5 ain't helping shit. We need to find a way to bring them together, work together, and use the, the money in the masses to bring veterans to find what their little next objective is or mission, right? It drives me nuts. Like, we're, in a, we're, we're a community that has oversaturated ourselves because we all want to help. You know, I had a call today, and a lady was like, well, I just want to be involved. I want to help. Like, uh, you know, we've, bur we've burned ourselves already. I mean, think about the 22, right? Like, let's look further into this 22 thing because, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you that I've done, I've looked into it. I've heard from guys that are very intelligent say that you know, the 22 number is, is not legit, right? Either way, why would we focus on a negative fucking outlook on a veteran than anything else? Like, my mom doesn't know anything about the veteran community besides the fact that I was in combat, right? And that veterans commit suicide, right? That, that's the only thing she knows. And she doesn't know that from me, right? She knows that from all the fucking main media, all the media out there, the mainstream media that's out there talks about the veteran crisis, veteran issues, and it's suicide. Everything on fucking social media, Veteran 22, Veteran 22, Veteran 22. Like, when are we going to let go of that fucking number and realize like that? F fuck 22. Like, fuck that 20. Who gives a fuck about that 22? How do I stop 22? Here's how I stop the suicide, all right? You find these motherfuckers. They go to fucking counseling. They go to fucking brain clinics. Once they're done with that shit, then they find something that they fucking love and they fucking crush it, right? Whether it's fitness, whether it's painting, whether it's fucking hiking, I don't give a shit. They gotta stay active. 
They got to be active in their own space. At one, at what point do we just look in the mirror and realize, like, hey, fucko, it's my fault. I'm a pussy. It's my fault. My life is falling into shit. Maybe I drink too much, and that's why I lost my wife. Maybe I'm fucking focused on hanging out with my buddies is why my life is going to shit. Or maybe I drink so much I lost my fucking job, or my health, or my weight is going to shit. When do you look in the mirror and realize it's fucking you, man? When do you realize, like, I'm the one who fucked up my own life? I'm the one who needs to fucking take charge and take accountability of my own fucking actions and do something about it. When the fuck does that happen? When does the veteran community stand up and say, hey, motherfucker, look in the mirror and realize you fucked up? And how do you fix you? Uh, you wake the fuck up, you make changes in your goddamn life, and you fix it. One foot in front of the other, it ain't gonna be easy, motherfucker, but that's life, right? It's a goddamn shitty ass road march that never ends. Fucking, you fall down, you get back up, and you keep fucking walking. Like, we have to stop thinking that we're going to hold everyone's hand to get them a job. We're going to hold everyone's hand to go to the fucking, to go to the doctors when they need to. We're going to stop pointing fingers at everyone around us and saying, like, we're the victims, we're the victims, we're the victims. Stop pointing fingers at the fucking VA because they didn't help you. Stop pointing fingers at your fucking wife because she fucking left you. Stop pointing fingers at your job because they fucking fired you. Start looking in the goddamn mirror... And realize it's you. The actions you've made have brought your life to what you see today. Okay? And here's the reality. Even if you've done everything right, life is fucking hard. It's going to kick you in the gosh damn dick. I'll tell you right now, there's motherfuckers in the civilian world that are dealing with the same shit. They got out of college. They went to work. And then they got fired because they're fucking morons, right? Because they went out drinking. They stayed out too late fucking some strange. Doing all kinds of dumb shit. They lost their wife because they were cheating. They lost their wife because she was cheating. You don't think the rest of the world deals with the same shit? They do. You just fucking are trying to put a finger towards someone and blame it on someone else. Here's another thing. Transition. Don't act like it's only a veteran thing. It's a lot harder for us, don't get me wrong, because our transition is a little different. We've seen a world where life is a little bit easier. We've seen a world where I don't have to worry about shit but getting shot in the face. And you know what? That's a nice, comfortable world to live in if that's all you have to worry about. But the reality is, anyone that's coming close to 30 years old is going to be depressed because they're transitioning into a world where they thought they were going to be a lot farther in life than they actually are. Okay? There's a so, the fucking dude that goes four years in college and gets out is dealing with transition. Okay? The guy who played baseball his whole fucking life and, and fucking the whole thing got swept out from under him because of whatever is injuries or whatever the case, he's done with transition. Every motherfucker in this goddamn world has some kind of point in their life where they're dealing with transition. After dealing with a breakup, after fucking, after it, 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 just everything in life, people deal with transition. So why the fuck are we acting like the victims if we're the only ones that have to transition? Our transition is a little harder, yes, but it's still a fucking transition. It's life, people. We're living life. And you're fucking trying to blame everyone else in this goddamn world. I would like for the veteran community to stand up finally, look in the goddamn mirror, and start blaming yourself. And when you realize, yeah, you're the one who fucked up, take credit for it. Yep, that's me. I fucked up. Well, now, how do I start putting the pieces back together? Let me fix my life and get ready for it to get fucked up again. Because that's life. It's nothing but fucking success, failure, success, failure, success, failure, 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 success, failure. So get the fuck over it. This life ain't easy. It's a beautiful thing, though. It's a beautiful thing when you figure out what you'd like to do. It's a beautiful thing when you wake up and say, hey, I'm waking up every day knowing that this life right now is what I've created for myself. I'm a self-made motherfucker. And if life comes to kick me in the nuts, I'm going to brush myself off and I'm going to get back up again, one foot in front of the other, motherfuckers. Look in the mirror, bitch. Start blaming yourself.